Good evening. I feel like for the most part I'm looking at a group of friends. Uh, my name is Craig Cardell. I live at 500 Shirley Place in the city of Alaska. Uh, my wife Ann is the gifted program teacher at WG Nunn and a former Alaska City Schools Teacher of the Year. I'm not going to discuss the, the merits of this thing. I'm a former city manager. I've done industrial and community development all my life. I can tell you without doubt, this is the most damaging, useless thing I've seen proposed in many, many years. This will do more damage to our community than just about anything I can think of short of a hurricane running through the middle of town. It will damage both the county and the city school system severely. It will hinder the growth of the education of our children. It will cause chaos among the city and county school staffs both of which are like this, because a lot of times they're the same people. The issue that we now face, though, is one that I'm very familiar with, and that's taxation. Uh, as a former local government consultant, I'm very familiar with it. My company, Property Tax Eagle, rep represents over 200 major property owners in three states across the southeast. I can tell you without any reservation that when this passes, the additional bureaucratic and administrative requirements on our schools will raise the millage a minimum, a minimum of eight mills the first year. A minimum of eight mills the first year. And this isn't speculation. I spoke with a Lowndes board member who I'm not going to name because that's unfair. He can speak for himself. <coughs> coming out of the courthouse Thursday. He gave me a number slightly less than that. I was with a Lowndes administrator today at the courthouse on a different matter. <coughs> And that number was confirmed on the high side. I did my own analysis. And again, I do property taxation for a living. This is what I do for major corporate clients. This is going to be devastating. If we talk about recruiting industry, this is going to kill us. Not to mention the controversy that we're going to have for the next three or four years. Because this won't pass. It won't. People in this community are not willing to be bullied by a group of Chamber of Commerce know-it-alls who don't have a dog in the fight. They may be <laughs> want to set the record straight. If anybody tells you this is going to save you money, tell them, prove it. If anybody says it's going to improve the education of our children, prove it. And I think that should be the model for all of us from now on. When somebody feeds you a pack of garbage about consolidation being good for our community, all you have to do is say, prove it. And they can't. That's all I have. Thank you.